Hey guys, welcome. This is Brad Krantz with Ruth. Ruth. We are talking about change your world here today. And first thing I want to note about this, guys, we uh, both were able to watch John Max will be interviewed by Ed Milet uh, this week. Great interview. And sometimes, you know, even you've read some of the book, all of it, you get different perspectives, which I mm -hmm. certainly did off of Ed interviewing John Maxwell. I mean, great interview. Uh, but one of the things I learned too, the, the title of the book, Change Your World, you know, it'd be something like if you ask your kids, you ask them, hey, what's your goal? And they'd say, I want to change the world. Um, you'd say, well, let's tone that down a little bit. That's kind of big. But this is about changing your world here, right, guys? So you can do it. Anybody can change their own world. And we're going to talk about some of the aspects here. So first, I wanted to note, transformation is an inside job. That's something John Maxwell said. And when this is one of my favorite quotes from him too. And I like the clarity that he brought to it through everything rises or falls on leadership. That's right. right. And we talked about a situation here I won't get into, but you know, good leadership, things are going to rise, bad leadership, things are going to fall. But he answered the question, he goes, what makes leadership rise? And I thought this was great, Ruth. Two things, confidence mm -hmm. and good values. Give me, give me your take on those. Well, you know, I think good values makes change possible and every value is within our reach. So even in the change your world book, John Maxwell goes into a whole list of what those values are. Yeah. You see, because in order for us to see our world around us changed, we have to see transformation yeah. and transformation. When we begin to help people to transform is we begin to equip people to live a life of good values yeah. that increases their value to themselves and to the people around them. And so yeah. values like is core when we're talking about transformation and changing our world. Yeah. Yeah. So the confidence, you have to have confidence as a leader, mm -hmm. obviously the good values, we're not going to get into all those, but just like, you know, the golden rule do unto others you know, as you would like have do, to, done unto you. It's not do unto others before they do unto you. But I think that's as simple as that sounds, um, as wise as that is, that's a great starting point to help you as a leader rise or your leadership to rise and to help toward transformation being an inside job. So let's shift gears, Ruth. I want to talk about this idea of the transformation table. That's an interesting concept. I haven't read that chapter yet, but John Maxwell talked about it with mm -hmm. Ed and I found it really um, enlightening and just very thought provoking. Yeah. So I think what uh, John, the John Maxwell team is trying to do right now um, through Change Your World is that we're trying to put together a group of people who are individually come to the table and they take time to talk with, amongst themselves, what does it mean for me personally to change my world? Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things that we have to always remember is that good values that we want to live in ourselves, and we expect other people want to um, live yeah. and embrace those good values. And the truth is, is that those things don't necessarily happen in other people until no. they make the decision to change. Because yeah. change only happens when you decide or yeah. when your friend decides. You can't decide for your friend. No. You can only decide for yourself. And so Very that true. makes a huge difference when we're talking about transformation. Okay. So let me bring up, he talked about, and I thought these were great questions, followers of a leader. Let's just say it could be in the corporate world, you know, the maybe church ministry it could be private, you know, entrepreneur, whatever. But followers ask their leaders they, three questions. That one do you care for me? Right. Okay, mm -hmm. that's huge. Two, can you help me? And then thirdly, can I trust you? Ruth, right. talk about those, because those are really powerful. If you think about a lot, and I haven't heard anybody outside of John Maxwell really talking about this. You know, I got hired in my job. I didn't have my boss sit down and say, hey, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to care for you. I'm going to help you, and you can trust me. You kind of come to find out that maybe one, if not all three of those questions really aren't part of the team or the organization that you are uh, spending a good part of your life in, sadly. Right. And I think that leadership, when it comes down to it, is that um, we are people of value who value people and we want to add value to other people. And so, I mean, that's really the DNA of the John Maxwell, um, John Maxwell and the John Maxwell team is that we desire to add value to other people. Yeah. And not only that, is that when people are in leadership, 
their desire is that they have to change. It starts first with me. That's where it begins. And so that's where the transformation begins. Great. And Ruth, we're going to continue this a little bit more here. Probably not next week. I'm out of town, but um, we're going to get into a little bit more, I think, talk about this transformation table. And Ruth, you've got one mm -hmm. coming up here next month. Can yeah. you just share real brief, briefly what that's about and can somebody join that? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's starting in May. And if you're interested in joining, go ahead and um, private message me. But um, it's really an eight week sit down at the table. Um, there'll be between six and eight people um, who join. Actually, Brad's going to join with me. And uh, we're going to just sit down the table every week and probably via Zoom. And we'll be reading a different um, value. And the first week, it starts with hope. And so we sit down and we read together about what what does hope really mean? Mm -hmm. And we answer questions together. As we talk about changing our world, it has, again, has to start with me. And I have to understand what it's going to require as we look into transformation. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Ruth, thank you so much yeah. for joining me here today, guys. Thanks for tuning into our Change Your World, guys. We look forward to um, hearing from me, please reach out if you got questions, you want to know more about what we're doing. I can certainly recommend the book by John Maxwell, uh, Change Your World, and tune in to us uh, in a couple of weeks. We'll talk more about the transformation table, uh, what that means, what that looks mm -hmm. like, and again, how you could be involved with that. So Ruth, thanks so much for joining yeah. me thanks, Brad. today. And guys, have an awesome weekend. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.